Q4 is upon us, the final quarter of 2023. What's your plan? Do you have one? Stay tuned. We're going to talk about that today. It's going to be a big help. It's the fourth quarter. The reality is the fourth quarter probably started a few weeks ago because it's our activities in the months of September, October, and November that really cause our results in the fourth quarter. The things that we're going to do in December of this year are going to create results for the first part of 2024. So really, if you were been thinking that the fourth quarter started a few weeks ago, you're spot on. But don't fret if that's not you. All's not lost. Today, we're going to come up with a plan that you can still save the fourth quarter. In fact, thrive in the fourth quarter. First thing that we're going to talk about is the plan. Do you have one? A couple of things to look at if you don't. First, how's your production been year to date? Go back and look at quarters one, two, and three and get a sense of how's your year gone so far? How many units were you planning to compute during the entire year? And do you have three quarters of those done? Many of us are going to find just because the changes in the market and our expectations at the start of the year compared to how the years played out that we may be behind a little bit. The first thing that we don't do is do not just take the number that remains to hit your annual goals and make that your fourth quarter goal. That's totally unrealistic. Here's perhaps a better strategy. First, what was your best month of those first nine months of the year? How, what was your biggest under contract units in a month? And so let's say you had a month, May was really great. You did five sales, five units under contract. So that would be your big month. And so let's keep track of that one. And then calculate what's been the average over those first nine months. So if you've sold 30 homes over nine months, that's 3.1 homes per month. And so we got five as our best month and three as our average month. And so we can't really use five times three or make 15 our goal in the fourth quarter because that would assume that each of the months of the fourth quarter were going to be exactly like our best month. And based on our average, that would be maybe a little too optimistic. But three might be just using the average might not be challenging enough. So I would recommend if that was the situation, I would pick four as my per month unit for the fourth quarter, multiply times the three months, and I'd make my fourth quarter goal 12. And that, I think, would be a sizable number. That's a way to build a plan. The next thing that we should talk about is strategies. What are your strategies going to be in the fourth quarter? So the first recommendation is, what's been your best one for 2023 year to date? Perhaps consider doubling down on that one during the fourth quarter. If that's an area in your business and in your lead generation or lead conversion or sales that's been going really well, do more of that in the fourth quarter. The second thing is, what are your core strategies? Keep those. For many, one core strategy should be, in fact, for all of us, one core strategy should be our sphere of influence. What can we do to develop deeper and better relationships and increase our contacts and connections with that group? I've got a lot of ideas. If you need some help in that area, DM me and I'll send you a couple of exciting ideas using technology and artificial intelligence to really get connected with your SOI in the fourth quarter. And then third, what new strategies are you considering this year or this quarter? For example, might social media be something that you level up this quarter or perhaps open houses? Is that something that you haven't done enough? Could you do an open house every Saturday or maybe once a week and on Saturdays throughout the, the weeks of the fourth quarter? Or is farming or augmenting your farming something that you can do? Perhaps finding another strategy, a new strategy to add would be another great way to make sure you're on track to a successful fourth quarter. I mean, and then finally, let's talk about a couple of processes that might help the fourth quarter. First, get out a calendar with each of the months and mark off the days for sure that you know you're not going to work. We think about the quarter and we say, oh, I got 90 days. But when we calculate how many days we're truly going to work, it's more like 65 to 70 days, not 90 days. Make sure you have a sense of how many days you'll be working because your contacts per day or your activities per day need to be based on those number of days, not on the 90. Second, consider a morning ritual. There's no better way to start the day than having a morning ritual that kicks off the day on the right foot. We've talked about this before. If you need insights on morning rituals, we have resources that we can direct you to. DM me and I'll help you with that too. And then finally, 
consider adding some Saturdays in the fourth quarter. Perhaps Saturday morning should be treated like the other five weekdays and we should get into the office and perhaps put in a good half day until 12 or one o'clock just to augment our strategies and our efforts in this fourth quarter to make sure we end the year strong. A lot of things you can do. The question is, will you? If I can help in any way, reach out to me. Hope this has been helpful. Have a great day.